everyone. Your designers are here. I'm Anita from Cedar Hill Farmhouse. And I'm Yvonne at Stone Gable. And I'm Kelly at My Soulful Home. We've got tips and tricks and decorating advice for you today, so let's get started. Hey, this is episode 53, Ceilings, Walls, and Floors. We've got a lot to cover. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot. <laughs> okay, so today we're going to be the highs, the lows, and the in-between. Mm-hmm. Let's start at the top and okay. talk about ceiling. So mm. really, just to give you an overview, we are going to talk about some different things that you can think about, uh, ways to treat these areas in your home that you may not have considered or you may be thinking about how to get a sort of a, a, a new pop mm. And these are ways that you can do that um, in every single room and with really not that much money or effort. So let's start with ceilings. Okay. Anita, what do you think about a different type of treatment for a ceiling? Well, one of the things I did in our kitchen was put in some rustic beams. And here's the mm. thing. I mean, you can go with a finished a very high-end look, or I shouldn't say that the rustic's not high-end, but you can go with a very finished look, or you can go with a very rustic look on the beams, but they add so much to a room. And what most people don't realize is that a lot of these are decorative, and you can add them after the fact. That's true. So, yeah. Anita, we have, Mm -hmm. ours are pretty much, are really Mm refined-looking. They're, they're, um, big and heavy but they're all white and they have a lot of mill work Mm -hmm. but we did we wanted to make them look even a little heavier than when we first put them in so we just added some beautiful um molding to well we we didn't do it we had somebody do it Mm -hmm. add molding to it to make it a little heftier and uh, it's quite an easy project and what a difference it makes we have those in our kitchen Mm -hmm. well and we ended up uh the um the builder and I, uh, when I got the original plans, the room was very open, and then we had this cased opening from the kitchen to the living room, and I said, no, 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 this isn't going to work. So, uh, you know, this is the whole reason, you know, this is like, this is like the, the, um, the main part of the plan. So anyway, so he worked with me, and we put in a huge, we had to put in a huge steel beam, which we did end up wrapping oh, with the, with the yeah, reclaimed yeah. Uh, barn wood, but then we got some, went to the to the salvage yard and just found a bunch of old beams uh, from some old building that really even look kind of like, um, I don't know, they really have some age to them. And then we use those. Mm-hmm. But, and now I don't do stuff myself. I had, you know, the builder did it. But what I wanted to say is he, that was the last thing he did. Uh, the exception of the, the load bearing beam, the others were added mm-hmm. one, almost one of the last things. So it is something you can do. You know, you just may Later have to on. remove some of your molding to put it up. Your, some and then, Nita, that rustic mm-hmm. lux looks is beautiful in your house. Oh, thanks. Yeah, yeah. so it's. I think it's worth doing. And then mm-hmm. at the, um, you know, we have this new house in the mountains that uh, really, it's such a project because it was built without any of the, it's very structurally sound and very nice and clean and open. But they really didn't add all those special touches that I really like. So one of the things we plan to do is it's got a cathedral ceiling. In the living room, we plan to, uh, you know, plank that ceiling and then add some beams to oh, really look give gorgeous. it some mm-hmm. character. So, I mean, it's really a great way to add character to your house. Oh, I agree. And it, on the beams, you can go reclaimed. You can go to salvage yards. Mm-hmm. There's places online you can buy that. But you could probably achieve a very similar look with... Uh, two two by sixes and have them put together so you've got the chunk so mm-hmm. it's like a, you we're creating like a four by six chunky mm-hmm. piece of mm-hmm. wood and if you're handy you could probably do it yourself or you could hire somebody to do it you could stain it you could whack it with some chains and just stress <laughs> it true. you know mm-hmm. you can I've done that with furniture you know just roughed it up a little bit and you can probably get away with that at a very low cost and have it look great or mm-hmm. you know paint it white or the color of your ceiling and still it's creating that interest it's it's coming away from the ceiling it's creating a little bit of texture and um drawing your eye up which I think um you know, really adds to the character mm-hmm. of a house and a room. Well, the and you think you're not going to notice the ceiling because it's up so high, but 
that's really one of the first things that people notice when they walk into our living room kitchen area are the beams. Yeah, no, right, I so think at least so. it's one of the first things they mention. Let me put it that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the planking is terrific, and I've mentioned this before. We did that here in so many rooms. We started out with one room, and then I just I couldn't stop, and I was like planking everything. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. So and we you have used it. some inexpensive material for yours too, didn't you? Yeah, so it's um, it was packages that uh, we were able to get at Lowe's. Now we had to go to keep going to different Lowe's all over the place, but um, <laughs> and I will look for it to put it in the show notes. Yeah, it's, I'd be interested in knowing what that was. Yeah, it was like eleven dollars or eleven ninety nine for a pack of these just thin slats. I mean, you could get them mm-hmm. you know, milled or buy them individually, but I think it, it costs less just to buy them a pack. I have to say, every once in a while, you'd open a pack and a few of the boards would just maybe have a hole in them. You know, it's not, it's paint grade wood. Mm-hmm. You know, it's not gorgeous oh, wood. Right, so right. you'd have to throw a few away now and again. So did you stain it or something or paint it? What did nope, you do? Painted. Well, I painted them Ooh. in the kitchen. Mm-hmm. I and love those. And then in my bedroom, we did them also in the hallway upstairs and I painted mm-hmm. it and just painted the simply white, the color of my walls. Mm-hmm. But then in my bedroom, I just wanted a slightly different. So I stained it, I, the white stain, and mm-hmm. which I thought was really pretty. And just, it, I think you I'd do like see that. a little bit of the, more of the grain in the wood. But again, it's not a beautiful wood, but the white covers enough of it. And so mm-hmm. it's just a touch of the white. It's almost like a, a like a wash. Oh, and yeah, I, that sounds lovely. It looks really pretty. Yeah. I, I mean, don't remember seeing a picture of that. So you're going to have to send me one. I know because beautiful. I have to get, I have to stop talking to the two of you and finish my house. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, she's blaming it on us. I'm blaming it on you. <laughs> to blame it on somebody. But yeah, I would highly recommend the planking. It, it, like you're saying, Anita, everybody that comes into my house talks about that. Like, wow, that really, mm-hmm. um, you know, y- y- I think it's one of those things where if the ceiling is just the plain ceiling, it looks fine, but, mm-hmm. and so you don't think anything's missing mm-hmm. in a room. You're like, gosh, you know, they should have done something to the ceiling. But when you do something mm-hmm. to the ceiling, it mm-hmm. definitely, it um, oh, yeah. yeah, it definitely makes an impact and adds to the whole ambience of the room. Yes. Oh, absolutely. Another mm-hmm. great thing that you could do with a ceiling is um, the tin. Now, we had original tin here, although mm-hmm. here's the thing. I don't think it was original, 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 mm-hmm. uh, you know, 131 years ago. And this is what I learned, um, and which made me think it wasn't, is that it was affixed to the ceiling with Phillips head style screws. Oh, yeah, mm-hmm. that doesn't sound original. And Phillips head type screws were not developed until the 30s. Mm, oh, there you go. Okay. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. So somebody who knew that sort of thing and was in my house. In fact, the guy who built those metal doors for me, he was the one that told me. Uh, because we had to take part of it down in the kitchen. And I think I was sort of bemoaning losing some of the tin ceiling. And he mm-hmm. said, well, you don't have, don't feel that bad. Because this was added sometime after. But that being said, we did keep the metal tin ceiling pressed tin ceiling in the dining room and it was silver but we painted it white oh, and it, it is oh. it is really beautiful whether it's you know from the 1930s or mm, 1980s nice. I don't know because you can buy that any place oh, you can buy it new yes I've used it before and you can and you can buy it old too but I would think if you're going to do a ceiling I would highly suggest you buy it new um and the, because you're probably going to paint it anyway and you know, I think it would be cool in any kind of style house, but certainly if you have an older home, yeah, it can really a add a idea. lot of charm. Mm-hmm. That's a great idea. We actually used antique ceiling tile on the wall in one place kind of for, uh, it's almost like artwork, kind of architectural looking because mm-hmm. the old stuff's really got so much detail. And oh, beautiful. yeah, yeah. I've seen that. They sell the, the Rose Bowl too, just pieces of it or they yeah. might frame it out. Mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. yeah, it's, that's really pretty. Yeah, and that may, you can also use that as a backsplash in your kitchen if you want on... I've seen that done, and that looks yeah. lovely. Good thinking. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, Yvonne, I think you have any ideas yeah. for the ceiling? For this, oh, a coffer ceiling. I love that. Mm, nice. It's a, a, like a grid work um, on the ceiling. Square. Just think of squares, mm-hmm. and with 
uh, built up with beautiful molding and things. My sister has a coffer ceiling in her office, and I've always admired it. And I'm thinking, like, where could I put that in my house? <laughs> I think it would look beautiful in my living room since my dining room has a vaulted ceiling. And um, they're very, they were built in a lot of houses like in the 90s. But ours looks pretty good. So I, I don't think we're going to remove that. Um, I just have it painted a slightly different color. And I thought to offset the dining room, a coffer ceiling would look beautiful in the, in the um, living room. But I think for those, you need a pretty high ceiling. Mm -hmm. yeah. because they do you know they do drop down a bit and the whole right. ceiling drops down a bit because you literally grid the entire ceiling so that's that's probably one of my favorite ways um, to treat a ceiling other than like you were saying putting planking which is so on trend right now and it really is beautiful if you, you did a coffer also... or your sister's coffer does she have the the beam sections painted a different color than the no, part hers, of the no, hers is all painted the same beautiful white. So it's just this beautiful, big grid work of heavy, beautiful molding. Oh, that mm -hmm. sounds so mm -hmm. nice. It is. And it's the, just gorgeous. The other thing you can do is beadboard on the ceiling, which you think mm -hmm. of being on the wall, but that can also be on the ceiling. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I would just caution with the beadboard. Mm -hmm. If you can, don't get the sheets. Okay. Get well, mine is mine's antique, so it's individual, but yeah. Right, so get the individual slats. Mm -hmm. It's going to mm -hmm. cost you a little bit more, and it's a little bit more labor-intensive, but it's one of those things that you can really tell the difference. Really? Remember okay. when we talked about splurging, mm -hmm. not splurging? Yes, yes. And don't splurge, splurge when the, <laughs> yes. you know, the, yes. the less expensive is so close to the, the expensive. Well, in this case, I think you can really tell mm -hmm. if it's a big panel of beadboard, quote unquote, air quotes, beadboard, or if it's the individual slats. That sort of looks like the old fashioned paneling from eons ago, mm -hmm. you know, that people would panel their dens with. Right. Yeah, I agree. It does look, it does look more um, fake. I was trying to think of a kinder word than fake, but bottom it, line, it fake. Has, it, it, did, it has that uh, definitely pressed out look. Yes, it does. That's a good way to put it. So we're gonna yeah. we'll talk about more about bead boarding and wainscoting and things like that when we get to the wall section. But mm -hmm. yeah, I think that that is a really excellent treatment. It's very similar to the planking that I'm talking about. The planks I used are, are probably um, you know slightly wider, but mm -hmm. not that much wider than your normal bead board. Mm -hmm. um, Beautiful. Another thing we did here is it seems like I did a lot of things on the ceiling, which I <laughs> maybe never did before in another house. <laughs> but in my daughter's room. We have one of my favorite grays on the walls. It's um, Silver Chain by Benjamin mm -hmm. Moore. And then for the ceiling, I did a gray, but a metallic gray. Oh, and it's I very, love that. It's very subtle, but oh. definitely has a shimmer to it. And I figured, well, it's paint. You know, if it doesn't, if we don't like it, that's fine. Um, but we love it. And for some reason, the ceiling in that room had a texture to it. Um, so it even looks prettier because it has you know, very small, you know, recess because it has a texture to it. It's not completely smooth. So mm -hmm. I think the metallic even has a little bit more effect in that room because of the texture of the ceiling. Mm. But it is beautiful. And there are so many beautiful idea. metallic paints out there. And they are very easy to use. I mean, there's really no difference between a metallic paint and a regular paint and see, in you how just you don't put think it on. of putting that on your walls. I yeah. mean, on your ceilings. Yeah. That sounds, oh gosh, that sounds so beautiful. Oh, it does. Okay, now I want to do that treatment. I know, I know. Mm -hmm. I, that sounds wonderful beautiful. to do the metallic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, she, and she's got a pretty chandelier, and it's not a very big room. I don't know that I would do a metallic paint in a huge room, but it's probably a 10 by 10. Mm -hmm. bedroom you know normal bedroom size and it just it's lovely and it's just a maybe one or two shades darker than her walls oh, so gosh. it's you know all in the nice. same mm -hmm. sort of family there but I do want to caution people painting their ceiling because you know when I was in my Tuscan phase which we've mm -hmm. talked about before and I had the gold walls kind of yellowy gold walls and I decided 
oh, I think I'll paint the ceilings to match because it'll all have this lovely, mm-hmm. you know, cohesive look. Well, then when I was so done with that color, uh, then I had to repaint the ceiling. So, yes, mm-hmm. just be careful if you but choose also, a color. I don't think mm-hmm. I like the ceilings and the walls painted the same color. Mm-hmm. Well, now you tell me. <laughs> I you really think, me some yeah, grief. I just think that looks too closed in. I'd go darker or I'm mm-hmm. just such a fan of a white mm-hmm. ceiling. Well, but I'm just saying it's if so you classic. painted a color, just be careful yes. that it's mm-hmm. going to be something you're going to like long term. Because mm-hmm. if you change drastically the color on the walls, you might have to change the color on the ceiling. That's true. And yeah. paint your ceilings. Um, some mm-hmm. people don't paint their ceilings as often as they paint their walls. Mm-hmm. And it's, it's so good to get a fresh coat of that ceiling color every now and again. Mm-hmm. That's true. Mm-hmm. Don't you just love a great recommendation from a friend? Well, we're delighted to be recommending these companies and their wonderful products to you today. And let them know your friends at DTT sent you. Go ahead, clean out your closet, then head straight to Quince. I love every item Quince offers from wardrobe to decor, and I can really recommend their Ultra Stretch Super Wide Leg Pant at $49.90. The price is unbeatable, and the look is so flattering. It keeps you in on top and flares out of the bottom. Everything feels right with Quince. The price, the quality, and the sustainability. Quince offers a range of luxury wardrobe and home goods at prices within reach. And like Quince's clothing, their home goods are priced 50 to 80% less than similar brands. Quince only works with factories that use safe, ethical, and responsible manufacturing practices, along with premium fabrics and finishes. Once you've cleaned out your closet and refreshed with Quince, you can also add something to your home decor. So give your wardrobe and your home the refresh it needs with Quince. Go to quince.com slash DTT to get free shipping and 365-day returns on your next order. That's quince, Q-U-I-N-C-E dot com slash DTT for free shipping and 365-day returns. Quince.com slash DTT. And let me know how you love those pants. Green Chef is a delicious delight any time of year, but especially during the holidays. What a wonderful vision to behold of the Green Chef boxes on your doorstep. Green Chef is the number one meal kit for eating well. And it makes eating well so easy with plans to fit every lifestyle, whether you're keto, paleo, vegan, vegetarian, gluten-free, or just looking to eat a more balanced diet. So let Green Chef take the work out of eating clean this holiday season. And if you've got guests coming, shop Green Bundles. They're now available at the Green Market. It's your one-stop shop for nutritious grab-and-go breakfasts, including vegan options, brunch kits, wholesome lunches, ready-to-eat snacks, veggie sides, and more. You can feel your best this December and do your best with Green Chef because they offset 100% of the delivery emissions as well as 100% of the plastic in every box. Go to greenchef.com slash 60DTT and use the code 60DTT and get 60% off plus 20% off your next two months. Greenchef.com slash 60DTT and use the code 6060DTT to get 60% off plus 20% off your next two months. Okay, so let's go to walls. Yvonne, you want to kick it off with walls? Oh, I love it. I'm going to start off with wall color. I mean, I'm okay. sorry, wallpaper. Okay. <clears throat> oh, yes. <clears throat> there was, I mean, we papered some of our, our house, again, is 22 years old, and we papered um, bedrooms and a couple bedrooms and we papered, uh, some bathrooms, but, oh my goodness gracious, taking it off. It's like if, if a bomb blew up in our house or our furnace blew up in the basement, um, only the walls that ha- were wallpapered would stand <laughs> because my husband just over glued them on. So getting them off is awful so you don't ever wallpaper over the old wallpaper well you know it's funny you just asked this I just talked to a wallpaper company that I'll be working with 
um, later on this summer. And that was one of the questions I said, does this wallpaper mm -hmm. work over old wallpaper? Mm -hmm. So I'm waiting to hear back because I have sort of an interesting project I'm thinking about doing. Because, yeah, what I'd heard from my wallpaper uh, experts that done, have done the work for me is that if the old paper is on really good, that mm -hmm. to get it off, you're going to just be pulling the wallboard off. So... Uh, you know, yeah. really, which we have done, right, <laughs> right. So just it, and and if done. it's on really mm -hmm. well, just to go over it, mm -hmm. and and I actually did that. We did that several times in our old house, and we just went over the old wallpaper. Yeah. It looked great. Well, I like wallpaper is so different than it used to be. Now they have repositional wallpaper, mm -hmm. and I'll, I'll I'll leave a I'll put that in the show notes. And I have a couple projects in the wings that I'm going to be doing this repositional wallpaper on, and it's so nice because you don't have to take down your old wallpaper mm -hmm. if it shows through the new wallpaper, which is a little different than what you would think of as conventional wallpaper, you prime it, wait a few mm -hmm. weeks, and then you can put it up on your walls. But the other thing is, is I love there. I love the new sort of look of wallpaper. It has a lot of um, open space, let's call it that, in the design. And I really love that. Now, the only place that I go a little crazy is just like you said, um, Kelly, in my bathroom, mm -hmm. you know, I would, I've actually gone pretty crazy um, doing wallpaper in a bathroom uh, that's, you know, big and floral or big and geometric or, or something so interesting. But uh, right now I'm into wallpapering like one wall um, and the background color of the wallpaper matches the color of the walls or I match the wall color to the wallpaper and I love that look oh yeah. nice mm -hmm. so a little more negative space just some white or exactly. something exactly it just feels more open right. and I'm, I've been really into geometrics lately mm -hmm. yeah clean crisp look mm -hmm. sounds great absolutely I'm excited to see yeah. <laughs> now, my husband goes, we will never wallpaper anything again. So, <laughs> you know, yeah, never yeah. say never when you live with Yvonne. There you go. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Anita, how about you? Some wall ideas? Well, I mean, I think that all the wood treatments that we've been talking about, the beadboard, um, well, actually, I shouldn't go into all of them, but yeah, the beadboard is great on the walls. And then the wainscoting is something that I've done a lot uh, in our new house, and it looks great. Mm -hmm. So we even did that up the stairwell and it looks, it's just, it's such a, adds so much dimension and elegance to the room. It's very rich looking. We have mm -hmm. it in our dining room and we just love it. Yeah. And you know, a really inexpensive way to add some interest to your wall is even if you just did a tr chair rail. So mm -hmm. go to Home yeah, Depot, me measure your room, get some of the, either the MDF or get some molding if you wanted to stain it in the regular wood. And you can install it yourself. You could have someone install it. I mean, it really shouldn't take long at all. And you could paint the bottom a different color. Mm -hmm. You could wallpaper the bottom. So instead of doing the full treatment of the wainscoting or the beadboard, you would just have the rail, the yeah. one or piece of molding. Or you could do molding. the picture frame paneling underneath. Mm -hmm. Just do the little picture frame mm -hmm. thing. Picture frame paneling, anything mm -hmm. like that. So that can add some interest really inexpensively. You could probably get it done in a day. Um, and we've had some talk about already the planking of the ceilings and whatnot. So shiplap. I mean, we would be remiss mm -hmm. if we didn't talk oh about shiplap. So, <laughs> ahoy, That's mateys. Right. We need mm -hmm. to cover shiplap. Yeah. I have some. I'm going to have more when we finish out here in the barn, but I have some in my kitchen right now. And we did it a very simple way, or we, you know, the, the gentleman who was helping us with the house did it. Uh, we just did long planks, mm -hmm. and he spaced them uh, by sticking in paint stirrers. So we got just that little bit of space. So, you know, they weren't touching, but it was like, mm -hmm. a, you know, a bit of a less, like a 16th of an inch or something, the width of a paint stirrer. So we stuck those in as we went along. I actually oh, even helped idea. him do that. Mm -hmm. And we did that one wall behind my stove. And I love it. And it just, especially since my kitchen is all white, it adds a lot of interest to the space, having even just that one small wall mm -hmm. done. We so there are different ways you can do shiplap, mm -hmm. but basically it's uh, 
a wider panel than the planks that we've been talking about. So and the ceiling. They, mm -hmm. Right. And they interlock. So they either mm -hmm. have what's called a rabbit edge with an ET e or some grooved boards that are sort of tongue and groove and they interlock. Mm -hmm. Can I just interject this, Kelly? We did yeah. a bathroom and we did a, a wall in our breakfast nook that we also put open shelves on and we, horizontal shiplap, but we also were doing uh, our main hall bath and we're doing the same technique, but we're doing it vertically. And we just got the cheapest grade tongue and groove boards that you could get not not sheets not the big sheets of the, the tongue and groove the individual boards mm -hmm. and we got the widest ones we could get and we just turned instead of we turned them backwards so the goods so the tongue and groove side was facing the wall uh -huh. which and and they still fit together but instead of seeing the tongue and groove you just see a little space like you would oh, in a ship right just that's like, brilliant clever. and it was so easy it was like lincoln logs like you know just putting on top <laughs> of each other together, right and they all fit in so 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 easy and i have a diy for that so i'll put that in the show notes oh great and mm -hmm. This really was for everyone, but in particular for our listener and friend, Sandy from Wisconsin. Mm -hmm. Sandy left a message for us and she, well, first she said all sorts of nice things about our podcast, Thank which you, was so Sandy. lovely. Thanks, Thank Sandy. you, Sandy. And Sandy's also in my um, Be a Better Gardener club. So I just love her. Um, she wanted to know about planking and she also wants to know about ironstone, but Sandy, you're going to have to hold your horses. We're going to talk about ironstone maybe as we slide into the summer but today uh we'll answer your question about planking so i think we've covered some of what sandy mm -hmm. wanted to know mm -hmm. but she did have this burning question horizontal or vertical mm. what do you say ladies well i go for the horizontal but i know that i'm you know there's differing opinions here, mm -hmm. but I prefer that. Well, I like both. We did we did mm -hmm. some of the accents downstairs horizontally, and I just I thought for an upstairs bathroom, oh, let's just do something a little different. And I'll be posting that sometime this summer so you can see how we did it. Um, what I like about doing it um, horiz uh, vertically is that we didn't go all the way up to the ceiling. We went maybe two feet from the ceiling and then put a really pretty big thick piece of molding on top oh, of that nice. oh that's a mm -hmm. nice idea and so and then i'm going to actually wallpaper what's left of it in a uh gray and white yeah so you know i just think it's a matter of taste and what suits your room yeah i think that's a great idea mm -hmm. I, uh i think that's awesome Six of one, half dozen of the other, <laughs> I Sandy. Think you can do Pretty much, one you Sandy. I mean, I'm kind of a horizontal girl. It mm -hmm. just feels like it should go horizontally for me. Mm -hmm. I think it um, might make the room feel a little wider, you know, because your eye mm -hmm. is kind of going out to either side. But maybe that's just sort of, you know, something I'm assuming in my head. No, I think, I think it does have sort of an optical A little bit, look. right? Sure. So if you were in a small enclosed space, you might want to... It, it, it would it be too cut off too if it was such a small room if you were doing it horizontal so maybe vertical in that mm -hmm. kind of a space would mm -hmm. be better uh, but I think you just have to really assess the space and decide well here, um, I, I could I just throw this in please Sandy if this is your first time try vertical because it's you know it's really hot right now and it and it's real easy to do and I'll put that in the show notes just give that a try because I think you'll like it mm. and um try one wall um I just think that looks fine it looks really pretty um and then uh maybe you'll be brave and try it somewhere else or go vertical so you're saying for horizontal first yeah yeah I would horizontal definitely do first. horizontal first sure okay. Hmm. okay yeah I think that's the more common yeah it is way no, to do it. well and that's the that's the way it was done I mean we had an old farmhouse on our property when we bought it and it had the real old shiplap from you know over 100 years ago it was obviously horizontal well that's pretty much what the outside of my house is mm -hmm. I mean, it was mm -hmm. apparently milled you know it's not tongue and groove it creates a little v which um you know it's a little bit different but it kind of V's on a bevel and then meets the next one. But my entire exterior of my house is like that. Um, so yeah, such a great look. And I'm glad that that's coming back. And 
I'm going to say that's going to be a classic. So I don't think you're going to want to be taking that off the wall, you know, in the next five years because it's timeless. Mm -hmm. Mm Mm-hmm. And I think it works. It works with modern mm-hmm. houses. It works with any kind of house, really. It's just really on trend right now. Yeah, and, but know, I think it's sticking around. That. I really mm-hmm. don't think it's going anywhere. Mm-hmm. Hey, I know we're still talking. Are we done talking about walls? I really want to talk about floors. Me I know too. You, you're dying to get <laughs> to been floors. So, we've been so patient, haven't we? We've been really good. Let me, let, well, let me see if I have anything to say about walls. Still. Oh come <laughs> on. <now. laughs> She's no. ambushing us. We can I move know. on to floors. Floors mm-hmm. is uh, fabulous too. Um, and we might have to go a little over the 30 minutes. So stick with us, girls. If okay. you're working out or you're walking, you're just going to get some extra steps mm-hmm. today. I think we're going to have to go mm. walk on the floors a little bit more. So, okay. Go ahead, Yvonne. Take it away. I don't have any of these in my house, but I just cannot get the thought of I, and I even of white, painted white, hardwood floors out of my head and we've been talking about this Yvonne and I have this like fantasy of having white painted floors so we're kind of both on uh, the same uh, track on that and I mean I've got such a generous wonderful husband and but I said oh Bobby how about if we paint some of the floors white and like he turned white like oh no (laughs) (laughs) and I don't think I I don't think I could do it because I think he would just be so like negative about it. Well, I don't know that he'd ever is, tell me totally no, but I just don't think I could do it, it unless he felt good about it. Femininity of it is it the no, upkeep well, of it? It's not feminine at all, and unless you've been in a house with white, I think yeah. it's the worst. You he have want to do the work. no idea how gorgeous they are. Well, no. Well, I know because I wasn't invited to that thing that you I'm both sorry, went to. Where they- <laughs> we're going to show up at her door okay. one day. So, <laughs> well, the thing about it is I have this fantasy about it, but I don't think I could ever do like the white lacquered floors because uh, it, at the farm, which is where I was thinking about, because one, oh, it's at the pine. Farm. So any scratches are going to go, you know, the wood scratches easily because it's pine. We've got oh, a collie the, mm-hmm. with, uh, you know, claws, and I, I can't make her wear booties in the house. <laughs> and I just can't do that to her. And, you know, I think even if you're kind of scratching the floor with your chairs, when you've got wood floors and it scratches, usually those scratches aren't, like in our hardwoods. There wasn't a scratch on her floors. Well, yeah, because that's, you, you know, yeah. The, well, I have, hard, I have hardwood floors, so maybe that would be different. But, oh, my God. Goodness. Well, I would I'm... walk around with a Swiffer. I really would. <laughs> so you would have I those would, behind people. Well, mm-hmm. you'd have them on your shoes, wouldn't you? You'd put them on your I, I would definitely do something you'd just wear to have white booties. floors. And I, I mean, I'd like to start in the bedroom. But oh, she's we... already got the plans? <laughs> well, I've got 27 boxes of hardwood floors laying around our bedroom and sitting room up here. So this is the next thing to be done. But I, I just don't know. Mm, I don't know if. You know, I would say to Bob, yes, we're going to put all this beautiful hardwood down. And now I'm going to paint it. You well, know, I don't see yeah, it too happy. Yeah. Okay, so what I'm thinking about, and I'm going to wait till it's time to redo our floors. But because we have a collie at the farm and it's pine floors, uh, yeah, they, they are pretty beat up. But do a I, wash, Anita. Well, that's what I'm thinking, a wash, oh, okay. because then you mm-hmm. won't notice, you know, the scratch marks won't be quite as obvious. But right now, because of the something, they did a terrible thing to me. There's something they did about that polyurethane coating. My floors, you know, where we live, mm-hmm. uh, the, the scratches are fine. But in the, at the farm, that coating is so thick that the scratches, the dog scratches, go just in the polyurethane coating, not all the way to the wood. So you, there's nothing you can do. To get rid of those scratches, a short of oh. just refinishing the floors. So I'd love to oh. do a white wash. Time to paint. White wash. Yeah. White wash. I think. White wash. Oh, I but need I'll wait it. till that we refinish. Be... Now, oh, okay. Sad. All right. All right. Fantasy girls, take it easy. <laughs> Woo! Take okay. a breather. All right. Now, okay. If you're going to paint a floor, is are there special paints that you use on the floor? I think or there are you some. Use any yeah. paint. Well, but well, I would I'm, do the wash. Yeah. I'm waiting for this specific person to come out with a product. Okay. Well, there was so, some talk about mm-hmm. some, yeah, it's, it was a white lacquered floor. Actually. Oh my gosh. Anyway, can I tell you about my next fantasy one? Can I take a breath or do you want to share and I'll yeah. take a oh, breath? No, just and get then, it all out. Just let okay. it go. <laughs> just the let it go. The other one is in, in our next home, God willing, a down way down the road, I love black and white check 
kitchen floors in the kitchen. Oh, I do love that. Yeah. So charming. Yeah. Oh, they're so classic. And every time I see one on Pinterest, it just stops me. It, now, would that just, be painted or would that be some sort of... I don't care. Tile, <laughs> okay. Right. I mean, if I have wood, Whatever Bobby I want to paint do. it or... Mm-hmm. I love know. that too. Uh, That's a very classic uh, it's look. It's beautiful. And I prefer it to be, to be honest with you, I don't want to see the grout lines. Inevitably, with the new year, come wellness goals. One very effective and easy to reach goal is to add dose to your wellness regime. Dose is expertly formulated organic wellness shots that support your liver in one delicious drink. Formulated with ingredients clinically shown to support liver health, potent turmeric, milk thistle, and ginger. There's zero sugar and zero calories. Did you know that your liver performs over 500 special functions? Since I learned all that my liver is doing, I started with Dose to support all those vital functions. I take a shot of refreshing Dose two times per week to combat everyday toxins from food, meds, alcohol, and unhealthy air. Since starting with Dose about a month ago, I am definitely feeling an overall improvement in my health. So if you want to give Dose a shot and invest in your health like I have, Dose is offering DTT listeners 15% off your first order, plus an additional 15% off if you subscribe for a monthly delivery. That's 30% off your first order. So go to dosedaily.co slash DTT and use the code DTT. That's dosedaily.co.co slash DTT and use the code DTT. Pesto pork chops over Parmesan polenta. Not that easy to say, but oh, so easy to make with Green Chef. Green Chef is the number one meal kit company for eating well, and we have such a great deal for you. You're going to save $250. Listen on for the details on that. Green Chef makes eating well easy for any lifestyle, whether you're keto, paleo, vegan, vegetarian, gluten-free, or just looking to eat more balanced meals. You know, we're getting into the busy holiday season, so it's a perfect time to have Green Chef help you out. Let Green Chef take the work out of eating clean this holiday season with their chef-crafted, nutritionist-approved recipes featuring fresh ingredients and nothing artificial. And you know what? You don't have to lose track of your healthy eating habits during the holidays. Every Green Chef customer gets a free, that's right, a free session with their registered dietitians who will walk you through how to make clean eating work for you. So sign up for your free session and start on the road towards better health today. And that deal I want to tell you about, visit greenchef.com slash DTT250 and use the code DTT250 for $250 off your order. So that's greenchef.com slash DTT250 and use the code DTT250 for $250 off your order. Hmm. Oh, so what? What, it'd be what some are we sort talking of then? I have vinyl. Vinyl? I, no, I don't think I want to do that. But I, I'm. I haven't thought the whole process out. I just love a black and white floor, mm-hmm. but I don't want to see well, grout lines because yeah. I don't want to deal with grout grout on the floor. To be right. honest, well, with the you. new linoleums. I mean, they're supposed to be fantastic, and you. I guess you don't have any grout lines with that. Obviously, well, maybe, sort of but I, I'm. In. I, I'm not sure, but I just think they're just gorgeous, gorgeous floors. They are. They are. So if you know any product, you can always write to us or give us a call. Yes. If uh, you want to fulfill our... Yvonne's fantasy. <laughs> <laughs> I well, have this next home all planned out. Mm-hmm. So I, my the other thing I've seen that I think is just amazing is when people stencil the wood floors. I'm not doing it, but I love mm. the look. Well, yeah, I, th- a... I don't think I could live with that. I think it would think be it's, well, too it's much still, for me. Well, I've seen it on a porch, and it was just gorgeous. Oh, but that might so be nice muted. on a porch. If you yeah. have a, if you have a, it's a very colo- I We see that a lot because we live on the eastern seaboard. Uh, it's very colonial looking. That's mm. what I'm thinking of in my mm-hmm. mind, and it's so muted on a hardwood floor. Yeah, that might, I mean, yeah, I can, mm-hmm. maybe on a porch. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Inside, yeah. I would think I would, I might get tired of that too quickly. Ha, let's let's change gears for a minute. Uh, if anybody has uh, concrete, and it's you know, really very the polished sort of, concrete, 
Well, yeah, you could have I've that. I've seen it done. Very, it's. I think it's a great idea if you really want something easy care. Yeah, and this I've Gorgeous. done stained concrete, and oh. um, it is really fantastic. It looks so sharp, and you know it's a certain look, mm-hmm. but again, it's a natural ty- type material, so it really goes with almost any type of decor. I mean, Kelly, I, I think it's beautiful. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't say mm-hmm. you know super super traditional, probably not, but. Mm-hmm. An old, you know, more of a vintagey look, and then certainly a real modern look, mm-hmm. or a, something that has an industrial feel to it. If your look is somewhere falls in there, I think stained concrete is so sharp. Mm-hmm. So no, I, you know, no, I don't no. know how you would establish. You know, it, that would be really if you were doing a new build or for an outbuilding in your house. So if you were maybe going to do over your mm-hmm. garage and you've got the concrete there already Mm. you can stain it and you can i achieved Mm -hmm. a really beautiful sort of modeled look Mm -hmm. uh with uh, three different colors of concrete stain that i bought at home depot and i did it myself in our former house and then i just put on the um more of a flat sealer so i didn't want Mm -hmm. it to be super shiny Mm -hmm. great and it was great and you know it's impenetrable really and um just even it, the the garage had some former, you know, whatever it was a, you know, stain from a car or some other thing. But I thought it all lended to the patina of it, and it looked fantastic. Oh, wow. So you don't need to pour new concrete to do it. Mm-hmm. What about the uh, wood look tile? Are you doing that, Kelly? I was thinking. Well, you were. yes, I think from our sponsors, uh, Thomas mm-hmm. Avenue, I have gotten a sample, mm-hmm. and I'm really interested in their wood. It's a porcelain ceramic tile mm. i mean if you haven't have you seen, seen it? it see i i need to ask for that one that, oh that absolutely so beautiful um and if our listeners haven't seen them you know look for them in the yeah. home improvement stores or tile stores or better yet go to thomas avenue and ask for a sample mm-hmm. online if thomas you're interested avenue in ceramics. that yeah. thomas avenue ceramics and if you're interested in that sort of thing they have uh, I was drawn to it because we love Maui, but it's their Maui collection, and okay. um, they have. Check. I'm going to check it out today. Yeah, go check it out. They and have three or t- four different tones, and I, it, you cannot believe how much it looks like wood. Wow. Tell it's me where fantastic. you're going. Thinking about putting that, Kelly, in the barn. Oh, nice. oh, what a great place! Yeah, and just I'll just add this one other one because we're really running over. Um, you can now get. Um, a vinyl, it looks like, it looks like flooring, like uh, hardwood flooring. In long planks, we did that in our laundry room, and we got like a weathered barn wood look. And literally, you could soak it in your bathtub, and it's totally waterproof. What? Huh. And you lay it just like you lay hard, almost like you lay hardwood fl- flooring. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a floating floor though. It's a little different, but mm-hmm. yeah, you just lay the planks down, you cut it and lay it and it's wonderful. So That's if you it. don't want to do, um, any kind of, um, tile treatment in your bathroom, you can do, we have actually, we have hardwood floor in one of our bathrooms mm-hmm. and then in too. a back and a back bathroom in a laundry room, we have this other really cool uh, alternate flooring that looks very much well it looks exactly like hardwood floors well that's how I can't believe this tile so I'm really excited about that so yeah definitely check out Thomas Avenue Ceramics and you can just search on floor tile or um, you could put in the word Maui and it should pop up mm. into the search hey I have not ventured to the floor tiles I'm gonna have to do that that's oh, yeah. wonderful look at all, look yeah at I want to see yeah. that Great stuff. in person because that sounds oh. fantastic Lots and lots and lots of information today, girls. Our time's up, so we just uh, want to say, remember, we're here to inspire you to create a beautiful home. Until next time. Hey there. If you're loving our podcast like we're loving our podcast, we would love you to rate and review us. Head to iTunes to do that. It's easy, and it would mean so much to us.